remember this name, Easton Fothergill. That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button and become part of the team and family. And let me say thank you to all the new subscribers and the members and a majority of the people who comment. There are some keyboard Karens, but I appreciate everybody. So keep commenting, keep watching, and thank you. But if you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button, become part of the team and family. Easton Fothergill is the real deal. And he has a real special story that you might not know of. Currently, Easton is in the Bassmaster Opens. He's won two of them this year. He's on the verge of qualifying for the Elite Series, where he is really happy and excited to join the best of the best. He's won on Lake Ufala and also on Leech Lake this year, and done it without any issues. Leech Lake was an absolute manslaughter. He destroyed everybody in the two-day tournament. Some of the pro anglers that he was competing against was calling it the Easton Fothergill Invitational because he demolished everyone. He qualified for the 2024 Classic. He has a 2025 Classic bid too. And he fished in college for the University of Montevallo. And I know I'm butchering that and I apologize. This is a young man that's from Minnesota and that at the age of four won the Fisherama for the Wally Division. So he has a passion for fishing at a very early age. And while fishing tournaments with his father, local anglers knew that this was the future of fishing. And local anglers knew they had to step up their game because Easton and his dad were in those same tournament. Now this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. During the national championship, while he was in college on Pickwick, he felt a headache. And he finished the tournament, but had issues. He felt like it, the pain was not going away. He spent days in bed and not being able to eat or do anything else. And he went to an urgent care and they gave him some migraine medicine. And that helped a little bit, but he soon realized that the headache was back. So days later, he went to the ER room. When he was at the ER room, they rushed him to another hospital and realized that he had to undergo surgery. He had an infective absence on his brain. So they did surgery, did their thing with great surgeons and great doctors, and and a month later, he won the Bassmaster College Classic Bracket. Now think about that. A month earlier, he's in the hospital trying to figure out what's going on with his life. How is this infected absence going to hurt his career, his life? Is it going to be the worst case scenario? But to come out of it with positive thoughts and thinking about what he wanted to do, four or five or six weeks later, whatever it was, go back into that tournament and win it, shows the kind of person this young man is. There's a lot of times where people will knock you down and kick you while you're hurt. But, when, but how you get up and become a man or change to become different shows a lot about what kind of angler this young man is. And while you might not know his name, you will. His story is great. He's a great angler. And I know people are going to say, oh, it's about forward-facing sonar blah, blah, blah. Remember, this is a young man that was winning tournaments before forward facing sonar. And instead of knocking the person because they use the technology to better themselves and to catch fish, how about we just say congratulations and great job. And hopefully he's healthy and happy and can go fishing. Don't make this about the technology. Make this about the man that he is. Take a step back and allow people to be who they are. Not how they fish, but who they are as a person, as a man, instead of kicking them or throwing shade at them because he uses forward-facing sonar. Because if you're not using forward-facing sonar right now, you're not winning. And I believe if you don't want to win, maybe you shouldn't be fishing. And I do believe there's a happy medium to this technology. But I know where this is going to go. It goes on every video. And I'd rather boost this young man up than take something away from him. Because I think he has a great story. I think he has a great future. And I think he's a great young man that has shown diversity doesn't matter. He can handle it now. And while he doesn't talk a lot or go on and do a lot of podcasts and things like that. This is a this is a young man that we should be patting on the back. So hopefully this brings some some knowledge 
to this young man and helps him in the future. So tell me what you think in the comments below, but remember the name. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Cheers and thank you.